Hello everybody and welcome back to Lost Souls. So in this episode I'd like to carry on with a bit of um, advanced rockistry but first I'd like to show you a few things I've been doing with astral sorcery. So let's have a look at those first of all. Um, with astral sorcery some of the last bits are actually quite tricky. Let's go and have a look at the starlight altar first of all. Now this is a very easy way I've got in here of duplicating crystals. So what I'm doing, I've actually, let's just change the mode of this. The redstone torch, I'm going to change it to pulse. <laughs> if I did it right, which I didn't, that way. So it's now in pulse. So when this is actually uses this, this uh, liquid starlight up, we could, it won't put some more down. But this is just the, a fluid place from actual editions, and it's normally set to deactivated. So what that's doing is it's taking fluid out of here, this starlight work, star well, and it's putting it into this drum, and then the drum's taking it out of here and putting it into this register, um, to this fluid placer. So it always keeps a, this pool full with liquid starlight. Now, why would we be doing that? Because we want to make the crystals as big as possible. So let's have a look. So here we've got this one here, good purity, and this one, bad purity probably can use that for something else and the one in there I think is a 90 something there we go just finished now so if I right click the skin set it to deactivate it it should put in another pool of liquid starlight automatically so I think it's this one yes it's 94 and the size is 632 what happens is this will get up to max size and then it, after a few a few goes it will automatically split off and when it splits off it's not going to carry on trying to soaking up the, the um, star liquid starlight I think that's the right one let's just double check it yep sometimes it's a bit awkward and I'll just give that a sort and I'll put those things actually that didn't sort because that's an attuned celestial crystal and I was using this one that's actually tuned to Butez or Bootes, I'm not sure how to pronounce that to be honest with you. Uh, and these are just basically celestial crystals, and this is another attuned rock crystal. Purity is quite good, but the uh, and this one's attuned to octans, and that's what I was looking for. Got some more in here. So let's get rid of these, put those up there, and sort that again. something just broke oh yes of course the rock crystal on top of here <laughs> that was a bit of a shock actually I was going what's that noise let's put another one up there so that'll uh, keep that going for a bit I probably have to move this around you can never it doesn't seem to work after you've used it once or when you've restarted the game probably a little bug but not so much let's go back now and have a look at the celestial alt which is no longer the celestial alt it's actually an, irid an iridescent altar Probably should change the name of that. So on here I've got quite a few more little <laughs> relays as you can see. And at the moment it's tuned to octans. You can see here on this one here I've got octans. And I had a bit a lot of problem doing this to be honest with you. First of all, octans didn't appear for a long time. And I want to make this. So this is the prime. Let's get this being made while we're doing it. I'm talking about it. So right click this and now I've got to put things onto here. I need to take what we've got off actually. <laughs> All right, you can see here there's one that's actually what it wants. So let's just remove this one and put that one onto there. I'll take that one off. Wait for the next one. So it should be two, probably goes onto that one. Oh, it's not that one. Okay. So what you have to do here is you have to have a crystal. So I've got an attuned celestial crystal which is attuned to octans and it tells me I need that to make this thing and from the book but it took me ages to figure it out I can tell you <laughs> I think it just needs those two crystals so if we look at the book there we go and this thing here is a neuromantic prime and I don't know if you can it doesn't have any interface but you have to use this in association with this isopheric resonator and you shift right click this and it changes its mode so at the moment this mode here is showing you where the best starlight is and as you can see the best starlight is on the altar in fact there's a lot of starlight on the altar anyway and its other mode 
it shows you where liquid starlight is oh look here we go so that's saying there's good liquid starlight here so i have to do something with the prime and put the prime down in here i think is how it works these places here <laughs> So I set this altar up here, but I, I've got to research that a little bit more because from what I understand, we have to create this altar like this. And then, I don't know how big this thing is. Let's have a look. Oh, and it only works at night, that as well. So let's put this down here. Can I put it down there? No, I can't put it down. How do I use this thing? I know you're supposed to put in here we've got a, also a never shifting fountain and I can put that down on there and I, that should be the middle of this bit here and then I can get rid of these two blocks here like this the ever shifting fountain is just a straightforward recipe nothing complicated with that one and then it says you put this on top of the neuromantic prime like that and then that's supposed to pull up from there liquid starlight and then on top of this we've put a containment chalice from what I understand now whether that's to be exactly on top or whether it can be higher up I don't know so I have got a feeling I have to build this around a particular well so we need this thing so here and it should tell us where a good well is but only at night so what we can do is there was some over here wasn't there oh there we are so if I just come down here and mark this block let's mark that block with a luminous where's my wand here illumination wand here so that's directly below me here I think it's that block with a better look and if I move around a bit more we should see another one of these but it's coming to daylight now so that's the end of that we can't do any more of that yet so that was basically the first part of doing this and I put a few more illumination bits there were other relays I had to remove relays to get the octans one coming through because it was in the sky at the same time as other ones so right let's go back to the overworld base so I think that's every I think that's everything we need to do for that for the time and can I put that up there yes I can and let's get this constellation octans in the book I tried to put in the, con the constellation octans into that uh, iridescent altar but that didn't work I had to use the right thing now there is something else I can make these micro lunar cells I've got seven I need nine let's come finish that off because I checked this morning and sure enough I have got six more micros like this and I think it was six more we needed for the I did seven and I also checked in here to see how the um, erodium's doing and the erodium's actually doing I think it's going quite fast actually it's hard to say I will be honest I'm not 100% sure if it's going fast or not but it looks like it's going a bit faster than it was so it's also finding roots but I'm surprised that's coming from the ore miner so now oh maybe it's coming from the um yes it could well be it could be coming from the quantum quarry at the back here because the quantum quarry basically pulls in all sorts of stuff and i haven't worked out how to use our phantom faces either <laughs> sorry right now let's go back here so it's the lunar it's these lunar things let's look for the recipe for that one we'd need two more Oh, I didn't put those. I did should have put those in there, shouldn't I? So that gives us our nine. So what else do we need for this? I can cancel it off because that was. Let's go and check. So I need the assembler like this. Let's go and simply left, right click this. No, oh, left click it. So, right, we need null modifiers. That's null modifiers, I think. Let's just shift right click these away. Oh no, those are the, yes, of course, those are the um, solar cells. Let's try that again. So we've got the nine microlunar cells. Four null modifiers. Well, I basically prepared those just in case I didn't have enough. And that was simply to put blocks of litharite on here until they went to, um, to non-modifiers it goes through the first phase it goes through is 
uh, interconnects and then they turn into that. So let's just pick this up if I can with this. Shift right clicking it. Doesn't work, it's not funny. Should work, but it doesn't work. Right, so the last thing we needed for that was some structure one things, wasn't it? Oh, do I have the. Nope, I've got no modifiers and we need structure. No. What have I done with those? Probably got them in my inventory somewhere, I guess. So, T Marvel, what have I done with the structure frames? I know I've got them because. But where are they? Oh, I love it when I do this. Ah, oh, here we go. 16 structure frames, tier 1. Okay, so we can actually go and assemble this thing. So let's go and assemble this. Oh, I do need something else. I need a power plug. Let's make a power plug. Um, I'll have to do that on here. So I'll need to craft one of these first of all. And I needed for that flux block. Okay, yes. I needed for the flux block. What do I need? Flux, is it? I'm missing some flux, okay. Well, that's strange, I would have thought I've had some flux in the system. Anyway, we've got 7,000 of these redstones. Now they're coming in very nicely from that one orchid at the back there. Uh, that's amazing actually when you think about it. So let's go and turn this fire on here. Let's get my magnet into gear here and let's take the redstone, check it over the top. So I've got my flux back again. Let's go turn that light fire off keeps the um, frame rate up if nothing else let's put that into here so we should now be able to make the flux core and we should be able to make this flux point of course the flux point is used for the uh, input oh do you need the assembly now where are we going to do that well I suppose it could as a good place as any, it'd probably be on the side of this, wouldn't it? So let's just put this down. I think so. It's five across, isn't it? I've got to make sure I've got space. I probably don't have space. Oh, yes, we do, I think. Yeah, just. So this wants to go here in the middle of this, underneath, here. I think that's where we have to put the lunar array con the controller. Let's just double check that. Oh, that's not what I wanted to do. I think it goes here. Good. Now I'll just put this, dig all of this up. And we can simply then right click this, stand that out of the way, so we're at least five blocks away, or three blocks. Now that should be generating power at night. Let's have a look. Well, it looks decent, doesn't it? It looks like it's fitting into the into everything. So I will do the same thing as I did before. I'll put down a fluid duct of some, oh no, an energy duct. What have we got in here? We've got redstone. Good, we'll use redstone one. Now, can I do that? Wrong place. Actually, that's okay. Let's just move the, let's just come around here and do it from the other side. Actually, I couldn't even walk underneath that. That's quite nice as well. And I can remove that afterwards, can't I? that's connecting up to there now does it tell me how much so there's no RF in there at the moment that's to be expected since it's not night time so now I simply remove this and get the power out plug and the so that removes that this will connect to that and then we can configure it like that basic configuration then we can just check it I think so it's not generating it any RF at the moment. We'll, re we'll remove the limit so make sure that it's not limited in any sense. 
I don't think it's going to be limited to be honest with you and so we wait tonight and then we should be getting power so this one here should also it's actually saying it's not the time in which it's generating does it it says it's using that power which of course would be ex would be expected let's have a look now if I click in here show connected blocks so the reactor is producing 2.1 well 2100 RF and this producing is difficult to say it's going up and down but there must be something using also it so the energy acceptor here how much is that energy acceptor using is that 1.8 thousand there's quite a lot for energy per tick 1800 1800 for energy per tick I can reduce that let's go and do that because what I did is I shifted in a load of things into here and that's into this and that uses a lot of power I shift in 48 but 133 range might be enough let's go and check that power again in fact I don't have to go there I can just do it on any one of these and this time it should have reduced it down might have been causing using nothing of course oh that's not made any difference I wonder if that's correct you never know with these things they've got an energy acceptor there Well, actually, that's quite hard to read now, isn't it? <laughs> mm -hmm. But I guess it's this energy acceptor. Anyway, we seem to have enough power, so I'm not too bothered about it. So let's just, I'll just put those back again, make sure it's fine. Actually, that did go up by about tenfold. <laughs> wow. 133. Won't cover the, the two places, but we've got the indexer. Maybe I'll just leave it like that for the time being. Right, next thing. Let's go and do this uh, next block. We built this. This is working just fine. Oh, this didn't tell me about that, did it? So now, the rolling machine was next, if I remember rightly. Now, I've got the stuff set up in one of these. Here we go. I've got some flux points and some power patches and input hatches already made up. I've also got an infinite water source made up in here. So I just need the hollow projector, which should be in the same place, but of course it isn't. Now what have I done with the hollow projector? Well, can't find it. It must be around. just being where is the hollow projector it's not in there and I would have expected it to be in here it should not be in there oh let me double check this again in fact let's try doing hollow in here Sometimes it makes life easier to see. Well, that's very strange. But things disappearing ah, is not that uncommon. <laughs> but of course I could have simply right clicked it into the wrong place somewhere. I have tidied this out a bit. Uh, okay, I can't find it. And it doesn't matter that much. We'll make another one. So we need two of these. We should be able to make one of these now. 
Oh, that's very strange. It's big enough to see, isn't it? Okay, it doesn't really highlight that. It's a little bit lighter, but not that much lighter. Anyway, so we need to do the rolling machine. I think it's all we need to prepare. I think all the bits were prepared. Let's have a look. Not in there. That was me doing seeds. I did a seed for the other one as well. Right, the rolling machine. Good, we've got the rolling machine. So I need to move everything out of here. Let's put some stuff out of here. What else can I move? This redstone torch. I seem to have 60. I seem to have got a bit carried away with my redstone torches. Let's put away these, I think. Is that living wood? I think I've got a different space for living wood. I have a look. Is that enough? I think that's probably enough for the time being. Linking tool I may be able to put into here. Good, I can. Yeah, that looks good. I'll take the iron out of there. We probably don't need it, but I think that's good. So now, a rolling machine. So you right, just right click that, and then you select rolling machine in here. And then we put it down. I want it rough. It's not very big. This thing. Right there we go. So, power input plug, fluid input hatch. Now we should have. I've prepared those because they're. There's not much point in just crafting things on the screen, is there really? So, power input plug one, fluid input hatch, input hatches. Now we can change those to output hatches if we need to. I've got a bit carried away with that. We've got five of those. Right. So, power input plug. Next one. Fluid input hatch. Next one, machine structure. Oops, what happened there? Even though it's taken that bugger, we can still put it down safely enough. Obviously, you need some more machine structures and then some coils of different types so we've got output hatches in here okay so now to make output hatch we take an input hatch we just self craft those out of that and that'll make two output hatches we can, which i can put down here <laughs> hopefully well, i don't know why that disappeared off there like that so we get, we need a, a a motor of some description i prepared an elite motor probably have to make one of those at some stage anyway so and then what else do we need I need some more machine structures I think I've got those in the system let's have a look you got 15 let's take those out of there let's take out half anyway eight should be more than enough I don't know. I didn't check what it was in fact let's have a look, quick look so if I go E and then shift on this one hold it still we need six machine structures, so we used one, so we need another five, that's fine. So we just need two coil coils, we've got some coils already made up. I will try the titanium coils to start with, it doesn't mean to say I've only got one. Okay, let's make some coils. Wrong type, let's do it from here. Fact, let's just have a look. We've got aluminium. We should be able to make a couple of aluminium ones. Gold is generally not very good. Iridium. I haven't got any more iridium, but I have not yet made a seed for oh, maybe I have actually. Anyway, we'll use the titanium core and see if it makes a difference. So that's the first level done. Now the next level I shift I held down the mouse button and scrolled upwards it always gives me a bit of a problem with that one so we need a machine structure in here and one on there that should be the six 
and that's the remote and okay then we got the two input hatches and I've just done that wrong again brilliant <laughs> But it doesn't really matter too much. Just go like that. So the last one of these is the rolling machine. So we should have a rolling machine in here, like this. And I think that's got a problem. Oh yes, of course it does, because that is t I right click these. You see, and it pointed to this block, and because the reason for that is let's do that again. It's an input hatch because I only changed. That's why it flicked out. I guess it. I think I see it now. That's a currently an input hatch. Let's make that an output hatch. Put that down. And you can see the arrows are pointing outwards, which helps a bit. So right click it and then you get this rather cool looking thing. And this says H2O, which is water, of course. So that needs water. So we need to pipe into that water. So let's take our infinite water source here. I've made those before, so I don't need to show that again. And we can put this, say, I don't think it matters very good. Let's put it there. Because we can then feed this with water. So let's do that. Go and get a fluid duct. Since it's water, I can use an opaque fluid duct like this. And then we can right click this. It's not got any power yet. And it's also got no liquid. So we need to give it some power. So the power point, <laughs> where's the power point gone to? It's here, isn't it? So let's make a flux point. Put one of those onto that like this. And then configure it. And then have a look at this thing. So now you see it's got power. And it's got a speed of 8.48. So let's go and change that coil now for some aluminium coils. We'll just change one. The coils are here. And then put an aluminium coil in its place and see if that makes a difference I'll guarantee it does make a difference but what the difference is I'm not sure yet so it's gone down so that's less efficient let's go and make a titanium co uh, coil generally it's titanium and iridium which are the best but it's not guaranteed I think there's one machine where that doesn't apply so let's have a look I haven't made a seed for this yet, but we can make a seed for that now actually. It's because it's not very difficult. Let's have a look at the uses of that one. Oops, I messed that up, didn't I? The use of, the use of this one. Basically smelt it. Redstone fence, one of these gives me two. I think it's the pulverizer. Yes, it's the pulverizer. So let's shift this into the pulverizer. I'm going to do this one. Oh yes, I've been doing some more to destabilize redstone. Well, well, for the time, let's shove that into there. So we're going to need four of these for a seed. So let's get the seed made first. And while that's doing that, let's shove that into here like that. Get our four out. Look, you see how fast that is? An awesome thing. So let's do a seed for this one. No, I don't have any there. I don't think I've got lots of stuff in it. This is a tier 5 crafting seed. I'm sure it's a tier 5 crafting. Let's just do the uses of this one. And we should have a seed. Exactly. So we can go and place, put the seed into one of these. I've got one prepared already with no dirt in it. Great. <laughs> Let's put it in the right place. Need some dirt in there. Let's go and get some dirt. Oh, I can do that easily enough, can't I? Got three pieces of dirt because I know that I haven't put any dirt in any of these. But I gave them power. So we've got some space for more seeds. There's, a, there's definitely a couple more we could do on here. This was the steel seed here. Now what's going to happen, I've got to be careful. 
So I look here. Got it good. So now we can go and place this iridium essence somewhere. Otherwise it'll block up the system. It's looking a weeny bit full around here. Where have we got some essences? Things which aren't essences in the essences area. Well, look at these spider chunks five. Okay, let's remove these spider chunk five. What I'm going to do to do that, I'm going to come along here, go into number one. Is I'm, I can actually remember where the key is. Unlock this. I think there might be a manual thing. <laughs> sure enough, Iridium Essence went in there because there was one already in there blocking it up. So now we can lock that up again. In fact, it might be worthwhile taking it. Ah! So that where it's where it went to. How did it get there? Okay, I must have put it in something daft. It's always a good test that one. So where's the key gone to? Let's just lock this up. when they've got something in my hand so that was a say so I probably put it into this and it probably got somehow it got caught in this one it wouldn't come out uh, it's usually this one actually where I end up with finding things but I've lost in fact it, it does actually have a use I think it has a use I thought we used it for something else never mind <laughs> uh, <clears throat> right okay so let's put this away. In fact, I can get rid of some more stuff in here, can't I? Let's put these spider chunks and slime pearls away. They don't have a slot there anymore, but that doesn't matter very much. Let's put this destabilized cath rate here. And I wanted to make some iridium, didn't I? So now we should have plenty of iridium. 64. Let's smelt that up. That'll be enough. So we need. No, we can now make a coil. Actually, we'll make just two. I hope. Oh, I think I'm going to make two. And let's go and see what that does to the performance of this. We can replace the end one again because we know that was aluminium. So what we've got to be is 8 point something, haven't we? So you look at that, 12.72. So let's take, remove this one then. Put the other iridium coil down here. 19.07. So we can then turn it on. So now how does this work? Let's have a look. I've got some iron plates in here. The only thing that's a bit difficult here is these. These are actually input hatches. You simply right click them. You have to know that they're here. There's actually two. I put that in there and then it should just come through here. But it won't work because there's no water. And it didn't tell us there's no water in here. It says it's no water in there, but here it doesn't tell you. You have to know it. So let's put a let's put a server on that. So it's already gone through this side. So we now got these four arm plates. Let's just do that again. Can I reach the input hatch from here? Yes, I can. Good. You see the speed that that's going through. It's actually fairly fast. It might even be faster than the other one. So you get this type of iron plate, which is the lib um, Vulpes iron plates. They look a bit different. They all do do the same with the gold plates so that's that machine finished I really might remove that uh, thing it does annoy me a bit <laughs> all these particle effects I don't need them for that right next thing let's put those away the next thing we're going to make is a crystallizer how do I know that 
because I do. Oh, I've used to go to shift right click this, haven't I? Crystallizer. So, what we need is one crystallizer, power plug, coils. I'm about to make some more iridium coils and to take. Ah, yeah. An input hatch, quartz crucibles, and an output hatch. I think I've run out of hatches. Let's just make sure we get some input hatches. I wonder if I could actually spell. I won't see them in here, of course. An input hatch. We need chests. Oh, I did fix this, by the way. Something I will show you. Let's look for chest in here. Uh, chest, yeah. I basically modified the file, added. So those are the, the recipes that she's actually introduced since the last version. And this is the sidings one back again. So I replaced the stuff. There was two actually. There's also trap door, and I think there was a um, trap. This one here should also have a sidings recipe in it and the last one was for the applied actual editions and it was the crate middle bit here wood casing and again that's now working I think that might still be broken in the existing version I haven't checked that carefully what you do is you just go along and you just replace the word wood it's called what's it called I've, let me double check it while I'm here because I've still got the file in front of me you replace all wood or colon siding with a capital then no, it's capital W for wood and you replace that for all in lowercase better with mods colon wood underscore siding and that works just fine so there we have that those recipes are then fixed I don't know why I didn't do that before. Right, crystallize, let's move that off. <laughs> Gosh, let me put the crystallizer down somewhere else. These are fairly large machines, and the crystallizer is a fairly important one. So let's put the crystallizer down here, for example. Nope, too far forward. Put it, if you want to do it, just put it down there and then come back again. So I want it around about, it comes in two blocks back there. Yes, that lines up nicely with the front of this one. Input hatches, output hatches, aluminium coils, power points that's at the back, which of course is and coils. Okay, good. So we can leave that there. It might disappear. In fact, what we could do, if we're smart, is put an illumination on that. Let's do that. So I remember so I remember which block I actually put it on. Illumination wand here. The one I actually clicked on was where the, this one hit. Yeah, that'll do fine. That's exactly where I put it. So we can do that. So I'll put it back again in a minute. So now, hatches, what we're working on. Oh, yes, chests. I've got lots of chests in here. Let's get them out. 22, well I say lots. We've got enough chests in here. So let's do that hatch again. So we need an input and an output hatch. Okay, let's craft the output hatch. And we need the crystallizer. I might have made those. Let's have a look what I've actually made in preparation for this episode. Second one. No, I've made some PowerPoints. I'll put those up there. We need to make some coils. Let's make some coils first of all. We're going to make a red DM, yes, good. So we've got the three ones. We can guarantee that the other ones aren't as good. The gold and the copper. So that's 
iridium coils, crystallizer. So this requires a user interface, nether quartz, a steel plate. I might have made a lot of these. In fact, I made everything. In fact, I think I made four each of these in between episodes and some steel plates. What was the other thing that just disappeared? Oh, come, yeah, I made two repeaters. So I did prepare this. Let's go and put this down. So the crystallizer goes at the front. Let's just take the other projector again. Put this on this light. So if I right click that there, we should have got everything and it should actually get rid of the light. So now we want the crystallizer at the front. What's this one? An input hatch. This will be an output hatch. This one actually works from right to left, but don't ask me why. Then we've got two coils. Let's put the two coils down here. We'll start with the um, expensive ones. I say they're expensive, but they're not that bad. And then we need the power point. And that's the first bit done. So let's go and then get this and scroll. Shift scroll up. And then we have these quartz crucibles. So we've got to make some quartz crucibles. And there's six, and I think they just got yes, yeah, so each one of these is six. Let's go back here. So let's find out what we need as a crucible. So it's the quartz crucibles. I think I've already prepared these crucible standard cauldrons. Yep, yeah, I could have simply clicked it. I wasn't 100% sure how many I've got in the system, so I prepared some cru uh, crucibles beforehand. In fact, that should almost complete the quest. We have to make a silicon ball, and I think that actually completes the quest. Let's put these down here. I've told shift, don't I? Let's give this machine some power. And then right click this one here. So that makes it. So let's have a look at this one. Speed is 15.26. Let's go and change this. We know this is the coil at the edge here. Let's go and put the a titanium one in its place. Right click this again. That's 10. That's gone down a lot. The only other one that could make a difference is the aluminium one. So we'll try the aluminium one as well. But more than likely it's the iridium one. 7.63. So it's double as fast we're using the iridium coils. So we'll use the iridium coils. See, I didn't need to replace all of these. Oh, that's the one I wanted. So now what we do with this, we need to turn it on, of course. And we need to put one silicon into this. So I think we've got some silicon ingots in here. It might not be actually in here. Let's look. Right, 57. <laughs> put one of those into the... In oh, that's the out parts, yes, of course the input hatch and that should start to do things if I've got everything right which I might not have done of course I'm expecting to see an animation here tell you what we'll do let's go and look for silicon ball in the this thing So what does that need? Oh, I need a nugget. Okay. Simple as that. So if we divide this into nine, let's do that. 
take one of those, make that into nuggets. Oh, I've got to do it this way, haven't I? We get 54. And sure enough, that's going through. And you can see the speed that's working at. We've already got six ready. And that completes the quest crystallizer. So, clear around, I'll go this way, I think you can see in the background. I suppose we could look at that quest, shouldn't we? Let's have a look at quests. So, this is Other Worlds. So, we've completed Crystallizer, let's claim the reward for that one. And we've also completed Rolling Machine. We should have completed Hatches. I've got two to make a fluid output and, an imp and a power output plug. Well, that's fairly straightforward. We'll do that next time. Let's have a look at these two quests. These two loot chests, I mean, quests. Water stone from chisel. I don't know why that's actually got any uses, but okay. And this one, an anvil and an efficiency five book. That's a pretty good, in fact. <laughs> so, on that note, I wish you all the best. So until next time, when hopefully I will have come, I'll test out that um, sort astral sorcery thing. Let you know how we get on with that one. I'll say bye for now.